It's decision day for Congress. Agree on a new budget plan or face another government shutdown. While the Senate seems set on a plan to move over, two groups in the House have pushed pause. Hannah Doba has the latest. The Senate is expected to vote on and pass a budget compromise today, hammered out by leadership from both sides of the aisle. No one would suggest it is perfect. But we worked hard to find common ground. It has required concessions, sometimes painful, by both sides. The crux of the deal raises federal budget caps for two years, almost equally on defense and domestic spending. President Trump hailed the news, tweeting in part, The budget agreement today is so important for our great military. It ends the dangerous sequester and gives Secretary Mattis what he needs to keep America great. Two groups in the House, though, may prove to be a roadblock. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi spoke for more than eight hours, the longest continuous speech on the House floor in well over a century. She and some Democrats say without a commitment from Speaker Paul Ryan to put the DACA immigration issue to a vote, they won't support the bill. What are you afraid of? Give us a vote. Let the House work its will. And conservative Republicans worry the increased spending is fiscally irresponsible. And they're selling out our kids and grandkids by making them suffer under the burden of tens of trillions of dollars in debt that they cannot possibly pay. The Senate deal also funds the government itself for just six more weeks. That's another stopgap measure, though, since if after that time lawmakers can't agree on a long term deal, the government could face another shutdown. Hanadoba, CBS News. The deal also earmarks $90 billion for areas hit by hurricanes and wildfires, $20 billion for infrastructure, and $6 billion for the opioid crisis.